All right, hello friends, welcome back. Vormithrax here, Cataclysm. Amnesia Ascension Challenge, continuation from Tuesday's episode. We're still alive, so we're going to roll right into where we started, or where we ended last episode. Um, just need to double check, give the stream a chance to stabilize, make sure audio and video are doing good. So far, everything looks pretty good. As always, let me know in chat if there's any kind of problems. And we will get rolling. So... If you're just tuning into this challenge for the first time, this is our character sheet, obviously. And uh, the amnesia part of the challenge is just the fact that I started with zero skills of any kind, restricted myself to no skills and no learned traits, no uh, weaponry training or any of that kind of stuff. And uh, you can see where we're at currently. So we're doing pretty good. We've made some good progress, had some ups and downs in our adventures in this particular challenge. We're also playing with the Ascension mod, which is a... Uh, group of mods, kind of a mod pack. It does include PKs, the Arcana, Blaze mod, things like that, and uh, so it's quite difficult to stay alive. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, we got some entertaining things added to our game world that we've already encountered and had some fun with, so hopefully that continues. All right, let's take a look at our current status. So here's the map for anybody that doesn't remember. And we've got our home base set up right in this house in the corner of the town. We're currently way down here in the southeast corner. We just finished a bunch of runs during the nighttime up into this area, hitting select buildings and doing some looting of particular items. We've made a pretty good haul, and we've got a couple hours till daylight before we're going to drive out of here. So I'm probably just going to pass some time. I don't want to turn on any lights uh, to attract any attention. There's... Too much danger of uh, demons and imps and bad things from this Hell Spire Citadel that we've got sitting right there. Uh, we've seen demons and imps down as far as here, so I don't want to take any chances of bringing anything else with us. So I'm just going to pass some time until daylight, and then we're going to head back to base. We got quite a bit of good loot, including some really, really valuable books that we're going to take back with us, and they're going to allow us to really upgrade our gear, I think. So. Here's our inventory. Let everybody kind of get caught up on what our status is after the character sheet. So we're packing a copper spear at the moment. I'm hoping to fix that really soon. We've got a single shot rifle, the CX-4 Storm. 30 rounds in it. Unfortunately, just a single shot, semi-auto. Um, it does use 9 mil ammo, though, so it's pretty good for that reason because we're going to find lots and lots of 9 mil. we got the basics like the lockpicks and the... Uh, Makeshift crowbar and so on. Pretty good supply of medicines now. We got some disinfectant uh, to go with our first aid kits, bandages, and antibiotics. So we've got most of the major bases covered. Still a few things I'd like to get a few more of. And uh, you can see equipment-wise, we've got a bit of a mix. Some pretty good stuff, some eh, okay stuff, but uh, we're still getting that figured out. I think uh, our new acquisitions of books is going to really help out. We do have a book that's going to allow us to finally get our makeshift welder created, and that's going to open up the whole metalworking side of things to go with our decent fabrication skill, and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, that's enough of a recap. Let's go ahead and get moving. Uh, let's just do a wait command. We're going to wait for dawn two hours. Hopefully nothing comes visiting. Really? Dawn's at 5.30 in the morning? Let's wait another 30 minutes. Yep, apparently it is. All right, and we're just going to get driving right away. I don't want to meet anything. We're just going to roll back the exact same way we came in, down south and up north and around, trying to avoid everything. Uh, I'm trying to keep this truck running. It's got some damage that we need to avoid, so let's use that as our comfortable zoom level. Nothing on the ground behind us, so nothing fell out of the cargo spaces that we were dropping stuff into. And actually, I meant to check how our gas was doing before we took off. I think we're fine. Uh, I need to head south a bit more. Alright, there's the slime pit we need to avoid. All right, keep moving, car. Don't get stopped down here. We're not going to try to stop for the gas. We're going to hope for some good upgrades to our gear through the books and materials we're bringing back before I go out on any combat attempts. 
I'm really anxious to get the uh, Mechanical Mastery book back and get that makeshift welder created. That's kind of been log jamming some of our progression. There's that minefield and the gas station. Swing wide of that, and we should have that apartment tower. Yep, apartment tower is coming up on our left there. Office tower, so whoa. Hello, cop, and a whole bunch of kid zombies coming. Uh, uh, smoker up north. Hmm. I'm having to do too much dodging here. Alright, a lot of zombie activity down here. Let's kick the speed up. Let's get out of here and lose these things before they chase me all the way back home. Alright, I think that's, yep, that gets us just about where we need to be. Uh, let's swing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, that was close. Almost took out the tree. Really trying to avoid taking any damage from bushes. Alright, much clearer out this way. We made it back home safely. Um, we need to check to see if anything's following us, then I'll start grabbing stuff out. Looks like we're pretty clear. Uh, sure, go ahead and wear the longbow for the moment. Can we grab everything? Can't quite grab everything. Let's leave the ammo, the arrows... I really want the rest of this. We'll leave the water here. That'll free up enough. Alright, everything else is in the back of the truck. Okay, we're going to be spending some time in our home base here. I think I'm probably going to have to go out and get some uh, food and water as well. Let's do... Uh, we'll just drop some stuff off first. Alright, um... Most of that with me for the moment. Drop the chunk of meat. I'm going to unload just about everything else temporarily because we're going to be here a little bit. Uh, let's make a separate pile by the door though. All the standard stuff that I tend to carry around with me I'm going to leave right here for the moment. Let's go unload the rest of the car. Everything out. Oh, our meat's getting old. I knew some of it was going to get old and go rotten before we got back with it.
All right. Alright, here's the goodies right there. That's the part I'm most excited about. First bookstore library we hit had some really good books in it. We got a few from the other place, but uh, that first one was the real jackpot, so hopefully we get a lot of good uses out of it. Alright, the rest of this... pick it up. Rubber hose and jerry can I'm going to leave in there. And the rest of it we've just about got sorted. So anybody that's joined us recently, this is our home base. And we started over here in this evac center and got a lucky find with that truck out in the parking lot here. So we did our initial scrounging in the area there, ran around to this mansion, got it looted out, all the useful stuff, ran north. There's an RV right there we got a little bit of gas out of, and that got us over to here. Uh, we got lucky in the start of this house because it's got this nice internal bedroom that we're able to use. It's a brick building. It's got a survivor basement as well as an upstairs floor. So it's got a lot of really good usefulness for raw materials and uh, gear that we found. Other than that, though, this town kind of sucks. So long term, we're going to be getting out of here. Um, I've just about finished all of the looting I want to do in this town. We've got some pretty dangerous situations in regards to that Hellspire over here. So that Hellspire Citadel is kicking out imps and demons, caco demons, death knights, all the nasties. So I can't get to this gun store safely. I'm not going to try, even though I'd really, really like to. It's one of the gunsmith gun stores, so it would be wonderful to get into that, but it's just too dangerous to go over to that side of town. And I've already made several trips through the town and looted all of the most important buildings, so we're going to be leaving. Um, all I'm going to do is hang out here, get some food and uh, drink uh, established and stockpiled. Then we're going to do a bunch of reading and then some crafting to uh, get our gear upgraded. Then we're going to hop in that truck and we're going to leave. Um, we need to find a better place. So this place has just got too many problems. The town itself is just not enough useful buildings in it for us. Um, so we're going to get out of here. Find better hunting grounds for us. The uh, refugee center is also being attacked by the imps and the uh, demons. So uh, it's too dangerous to go up there anymore either. So I'm not going to bother with those guys. So we're going to do some Eating and reading, first thing I need to do is preserve this food or get it cooked up if I can. Um, I don't have the full food preservation stuff set up yet, so we're a little bit uh, handicapped in that regard. So I'll have to go out and probably do some hunting and scavenging in between my book reading sessions. But uh, we'll get done what we can with what we've got. Um, let's do first the meat. Actually... Uh, Toss all this rotten stuff in the fire, get that going so I don't accidentally use it. Yeah, it may still use that, but uh, we just came up. Uh, how much meat does it say we have over here? And I guess we do have quite a bit. Alright, that took 
take care of that problem. Dropped all my tools. Uh, come here, lighter. All right, so we got some cooked meat. Let's take care of our hunger and thirst. Anything else is going to go bad on us real soon. So our perishable food is taken care of for the most part. Um, those I'm not worried about. Yeah, we've done what we can with the materials. We've got a lot of food that I need to eat that's already cooked up and ready to go. All right. So books, 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 books. Love it. Let's uh, read, just to get these things on our list. Mechanical Mastery, that's the one I'm excited about. That will give us the ability to do the makeshift welder. All right. So here's our list now. Advanced Physical Chemistry I know is a high-end cookbook. Antique Adornments is high-end. Uh, fab, Autobiography is high-end. Uh, survival and Mechanical Mastery is Mechanics. So at least we've got the Mechanical Mastery book. So it's got the recipe. I should be able to do the uh, makeshift welder now. So I'm happy about that. And then in addition, We've got a do-it-yourself compendium. That'll get our fab to six. That might, I'll have to check to see if that's enough to use the antique adornments. I don't remember when that one kicks in. I uh, don't care about bartering or any of those. Cooking to four. So, not too many of the in-between level books, unfortunately. Um, so that's a bit of a problem. But we'll definitely be doing the do-it-yourself compendium. And then I need to check antique adornments. Is that the one that was uh, six and six? Am I forget forgetting what I got annoyed about last time? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's the broken one. That's the one that says you need fab six and it requires fab six. So I think that one's borked. Somebody needs to look into fixing that one. All right, so we can get to fab six. Unfortunately, that's pretty much it, uh, which is only one level's worth. But that'll help. Uh, but the big thing I want to check Makeshift welder. All right, just need some heating elements and some copper wire. We can go grab that. Um, so I want to do that before the sun goes down, if possible. Um, so the heating elements and the copper wire shouldn't be too, too big a problem. And I think we'll go look at the uh, pump station. I don't think there's much in there I can take apart for that, but. Uh, the laundromat, I think, has got uh, washing machines in that we can disassemble. And I think there's some computers at the bank we can do as well right next door. So we'll look at the bank first. But um, that's what we're going to be looking at doing. Let's check our crafting list. Anything else pop up that uh, really useful with all the books we've got now? Everything there's pretty much the same. Don't care on that list. Not too much has changed. 
So we'll wait until we get the big thing done. It's a real big priority of mine to get this makeshift welder working. So uh, let's grab our gear, grab the cart, and then pop outside. All right, do this from here to the cart. Throw in all the medical gear, the water, and then inventory for the rest. All right. I think we're good to go. Let's make sure we wield the spear. And grab... Oh yeah, I wanted to check um, those slugs with the Ithaca. Nope, apparently they won't work. So, still don't have shotgun ammo. Let's put that stuff in the right pile here. And grab our storm back out and the lab, or the uh, longbow. Okay, I'm just going to leave my buddy here. Don't need him for this kind of a trip. Um, let's go look at the public. Or the pumping station first. There is at least one computer in there. No, it's not going to let me do it that way. Fine, be that way. Um. <laughs> That's not too useful. Just grabbing some raw materials that I suspect we're going to want. Um, that's what I need. Forgot about the hammer and screwdriver. I should have uh, gone back and got those before I smashed those computers. really want me to take those glasses off, don't you, Tom? It's not even nighttime. <laughs> they don't do anything negative during the daytime. Um, oh, actually, I think I had them with me. I just don't have them in my inventory. Wait a minute. Got the pliers. Got the hacksaw. Here's the hammer. Oh, I have a screwdriver kit. I thought I had a screwdriver kit with me. Yeah, I do. Be that way. I 
Alright, nothing too useful there. Um, broken generator. Not let me deconstruct anything. This thing's going to help. Alright, lets me deconstruct that. Oh, alright. <laughs> Didn't even occur to me to uh, just pump water out of these pumps, so apparently I've got plenty of water available. Alright, this is not what I'm looking for though. So this is going to be plenty of raw materials for metal, pipes, scrap, things like that. But that's not really what I'm looking for. Zombie! Alright, stop hitting my cart. computer in here but there's just just the one guarding the door or guarding the uh, you repose defensively for 24 awesome uh, just the one that opens the vault and I don't want to mess with that yet um, whoa hello you There's that zombie hollow still hanging out in that same area. And I still don't want to deal with that guy. Alright, that's a little better. Um, amplifiers, circuit boards, there's some copper wire. And I'm going to need some ovens. we got bit. 1241. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, what you got for me, big pile of dryers? Eh, of course. Um, need to start practicing with the longbow.
Okay, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Um, we'll do, oops, grab. These will be perfect. And we'll do one more. Probably can't fit all this. Yep. All full up. Let's grab these in my own inventory. And I think we'll head back. Oh man, how did I miss this? <laughs> Holy crap. Oof. Alright, I gotta prioritize laundromats more often. I totally forgot that they would have uh, cleaning supplies like that. And we got arcade machines for some more electronics. And, oh, and let's grab some nachos and some pork sticks. Don't care about the rest of that. Actually, we'll grab all of those. All right, do I got room for any of this? Nope. All right, we'll come back for that. That's some good stuff there. Go out the front. I think I'm safer over on this end. All right, that's some good raw materials there. Actually, we'll stand here. All right, right here to here. Dump that off and... And my boiled stomach went rotten, that's fine. Toss that onto the fire. We are tired. We're going to have to sleep here pretty soon. I kind of dread sleeping because I'm going to have a lot of my food go bad when I try to sleep. That's going to suck a bit. Alright, we're full. And we'll have some of our... Where our jug of water go? There we go. Full and slaked. And we brought back enough materials. We should be able to get everything done that we need. It's 2 in the afternoon. I'll check in with chat before I do anything else. Neither Lukia, Lukiva. The uh, Hell Creatures are part of PK's rebalancing mod, which itself is part of the Ascension mod pack. So, over here on the far side of the city, we've got a Hellspire Citadel. Think the video game Doom, and that's exactly what's in that. And that's what's spewing out of it. Imps. Caco Demons, Hell Knights, all the fun uh, netherworld demon type critters that were in the Doom video game are coming out of that thing. So they're starting to spread across the landscape, which is a problem. They, I spotted some up here at the Refugee Center, I spotted some down here below the police station, and we got hit by a few when we were driving our car down in this area as well. So this whole side of the city is really dangerous. Those things are really, really tough and dangerous. So I got to avoid those until much later in the game. Um, I just can't even come close to dealing with them yet. So that's one reason why we're going to be getting out of here. So I've already looted all of the useful buildings of the city. We've hit all of the gun stores we can reach. We've hit the doctor's offices, bookstores. All of the basic things that uh, have medical equipment. So we've basically got, every, got everything right here now. So it's down to gear up as best we can, do some learning while we've got a safe spot. Because I do have this section of the city pretty well cleared out. I got some zombies here I don't want to deal with. And there were a few down here, but they're far enough away that they shouldn't wander up to my base area here. So... We do not have Wander Spawns turned on for this particular run. PKs and Ascension mod is hard enough without the Wander Spawns, uh, especially as goofy as they've been with the broken uh, evolution rules for Wander Spawns. So we're doing without that for this run and uh, seeing how far we can get. All right, so full slaked and tired. Um, do I just want to dip, 
to sleep. I gotta get my arm taken care of before I sleep, because it'll go infected while I sleep otherwise. Um, let's get our stamina back before anything else happens. Uh, I don't have the um, infection resistant trait, so I've got a small chance of the bite going away on its own, but I think do we have enough. We've got the bottle of antiseptic powder, a couple of home brews. Um, those have only 40% chance of uh, curing the bite, so those are kind of a last ditch. Those aren't even as good as trying to uh, cauterize. Um, I think I'll just use this to get rid of it, so... Got four uses. Let's activate it and there. All right, so arm is all better now. I think I've got enough uses. It's much safer to do that. Um, I don't think I'm going to go hunt or scavenge right now. I've got food that's going to be going bad before I can get to it anyway. So, and I'm not inclined to try to set up food preservation here in this place because we're going to be moving. So I don't want to go through the effort of setting up charcoal kilns and all that kind of stuff for now. Um, so I'm just going to make do and hunt and scavenge as needed to keep me going while I do some skilling up and some crafting. Uh, we don't have as much book reading to do as I thought we would with that supply of books, but uh, we'll make do. So I think for now, I'm just going to go to sleep. We'll get the tired thing gone. Actually, before I do that, let's chat with our NPC again. Hey you, come with me. Gonna teach me something? No. You said no again, you little bastard? That guy just does not want to cooperate. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right, you can come over here and sleep if you'd like. Okay, let's see what happens here. <laughs> it keeps happening that Right as I wake up, my NPC decides that's a good time to go to sleep. <laughs> we are in opposite sleep schedules. Alright, what kind of food has gone bad on me? I got 13 meat sandwiches that are going old. <laughs> uh, other than that, it's just the boiled stomach that I've already thrown in the oven. So, Alright, let's uh, grab some meat sandwiches and eat as many of them as I can before they go bad. All right, we got three of them down. Let's uh, drink some of our water. I will need to go on and go get some more water from the pump station here pretty soon. We'll just waddle over there with our 200 liter drum and refill that way. But I think we got enough for a little bit longer. How much we got left in there? Yeah, we got 37 still. All right, it is almost midnight, so we need light. Um, do I want to light a fire to read by? Yeah, we're not going to be doing that much reading, so I'm just going to throw two by fours into the fire. All right, oh yeah. And I also want to grab from here. Where'd you go? There you are. Acoustic guitar. Store that in inventory. Hey there, F40PH. I don't know if that has a pronunciation, but uh, that's what I'm going to call you. Thanks for following. Appreciate it. Um, so we're going to use the acoustic guitar. Anybody that's not aware, when you're doing book reading cram sessions, it's really important to jack your focus up as high as possible. This is a modifier for the amount of XP you're going to get. So if you push it over 100, you're making over 100% of experience. If it goes below 100, you're making less than that experience. So if it drops all the way to 50, you're only getting half of the experience for whatever action you're performing. So to raise your focus, you have to raise your morale. And you do that through eating foods, some drugs and alcohol, and uh, also famously music. So we're actually going to play a guitar while we study. <laughs> so let's get doing that. We're going to activate our guitar. So we're jamming to some tunes. 
We'll let a little bit of time go by, build up a little bit of that bonus. So you can see here, we now have a music bonus to our morale. So we're getting that much focus per minute because this number is going to drop pretty fast as I start reading. All right, so we want to do fab to six. Get that finished off. All right, and our fire went out. We made it to 63%, so a few more logs will do it. A few more 2x4s, that is. And you can see our focus has dropped to 84. We've still got our music bonus. And now I'm also going to chew on some happy, happy food. Nachos is good. Uh, where's my Pop-Tarts? really want my Pop-Tarts. Not Long Island iced tea, not rum and cola. Chocolate bar is good. Ah, uh, don't have any pop tarts, man. All right, we'll have some bacon. I'm looking at the joy column. If anybody's curious, finding things that have the highest joy value that aren't alcohol. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do have some pop tarts. There we go. All right, that's good enough for now. So I'm stacking up my bonuses to get that focus back up again. All right, so we got a pretty good amount there. Let's go ahead and finish reading our book. There we go. So we're fab skill six. We can no longer learn from that book, so we'll dump that off. What else we got that I really want to level? Cutting weapons. Uh, I should do archery. Let's do archery. That'll be really quick. Uh, we can also, we're teaching our NPC as well. He's re he's reading and learning along with us, so. All right, our tree is now raised. We can dump that off. What else we got? Uh, let's do unarmed combat. And lost the light again. It's nine in the morning though, so let's grab some books and just read over there. What else? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, all my meat sandwiches went bad. Dump those on the fire. Uh, let's have some more nachos, some cookies, some pretzels, pork sticks. Malted milk balls, and then we'll go ahead and have our cooked meat crap buns. All right, let's just step over into the light and read over here, finish this off. All right, what else do I care about? I do want to do the computer one. And I want to do cooking. This one's going to take a while. We're probably going to lose the light and get super hungry. And we got to level three. We got one more level to go, but we're going to need to get food and water again. All right, that's it for my jug of water. more solid food in us. Let's have some cooked wild vegetables. Those things aren't going to last much longer. All right, filled. Let's uh, get another fire going. And first thing I need to do is, oops, I need to go grab my gallon jug. Alright, let's brew up another batch of 16 water for the gallon jug. Ha! 
<laughs> um, I'm wearing the acoustic guitar, but it's active. Uh, you can do that. Huh. All right. Um, that's interesting. Not doesn't really make that big a difference for this kind of activity, but uh, interesting nonetheless. All right. Um, I need to check advanced physical chemistry and I need to check all three of those. So physical chemistry is cooking five. Mechanical mastery is mechanics three. And that'll take us all the way to mechanics six. That'll be awesome. So we're definitely going to do something to get our mechanics skill up to three so we can uh, read this to get all the way up to six. That'll be perfect for what I want to get done. Uh, and then the other one is survival to eight, and you got to have survival five. All right. So cooking five and mechanics three are what I'm aiming at. We're already, we need two levels of cooking. That's going to be a little tougher. And we're at mechanics of two. So we can do some things to get those up. And uh, we're definitely going to. Uh, the bot is working there in chat if you guys want to get information on what I do. So that's the command for the challenge info. The mod list I'm using, and the world settings. That'll usually answer most people's questions. All right, um, let's finish the books we've got, then I'll worry about doing some crafting or other activities to get those two other critical skills up a level or two so we can read those advanced books. That's going to get us a long way towards what I want to get done. Um, then, of course, I also do want to make the makeshift welder. The problem with the welder right now, now that I can build it, is I don't have a lot of batteries. Uh, if we search for battery, yeah, I've got very few batteries. We haven't found any electronic stores, really. And, yeah, not a single electronic store to go to. Um, just haven't been hardly any batteries around for me to, to grab up. So that is a problem. We're not going to have much welding power, and I don't have electronic skill to build some of the better mod uh, electronics mod packs for using car batteries and things like that. Um, but we'll bootstrap our way towards it. So uh, we got a little bit of daylight left, uh, but we got the fire going already, so we might as well use it. All right, let's finish reading. So let's do cooking. That'll get us. So we'll need one level of mechanics and one level of cooking, and we'll be able to read the advanced books. So that'll be great. All right, we're going to lose this light here. Yep, got the 60%. Let's do some more. Going to have to go get some more 2 by 4s I can see. And, oops, we're tired now. Well, let's see if we can finish this before we go to sleep again. Nope, nope, don't want to sleep. <laughs> I want to read. Uh, da, 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 where'd it go? All right, so we did make it to cooking four before we went to dead tired. So let's go ahead and uh, eat some of the foods that are likely to go bad again. Kind of surprised some of these haven't gone bad. So far, we've just lost that crap. Ate too much. Now I'm sick. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to try to sleep while I'm sick. This will be entertaining. And we got a bump in our intelligence from the stats through skills. We did manage to get to sleep. And we woke up at a decent time. Now, we're not sick anymore. That's good. All right, very hungry, very thirsty, of course. Oops, now we got stuff going old on us. Uh, what's that list again? Hey, look at that, a cooked wild vegetables. Last one, down we go. And what else we have on the list that's short? Supply. Uh, lunch meats. Eh, don't really care if those go bad. We'll grab them and we'll chew them down real quick.
All right. Uh, do, do water, water, water. Take care of that, and then we'll just chew through some lunch meats. Take the edge off. All right. I think we're good there. We've got some daylight now. Uh, am I holding the books? I still am holding some books. What have we got left? All right. I doubt I'm going to do any trapping anytime soon. I'm not going to do that. Submachine guns. Sure, it's going to be quick and easy. Let's go ahead and get that done. All right, that's finished. And bartering could be useful. I'm so used to playing ugly cyborgs that uh, <laughs> I'm not used to being able to barter. Um, I'm not going to deal with that right now, though. But let's go ahead and do the cutting weapons just in case. All right. How about you, dude? You going to talk to me now? You going to train me on something? You. <laughs> Fiddling an awful lot for that 36%. Uh, all right, let's go again. Okay, I think we are done with the book reading portion. So let's drop all the food items back in that pile. And. Alright, oops, first thing first, get another fire going, oops. Alright, makeshift welder, where are you at makeshift welder? Get one of those built, there we go, we've made a makeshift welder, yay! Alright, um, hello Mr. Makeshift Welder, reload you, you probably loaded with every single one of my batteries, <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, we have the makeshift welder now. Um, oh, we can make a reflex recurve bow now? Really? Hmm. Um, can we do it justice with some decent arrows, or do I still not have... I don't have the good arrow book yet. Yeah, I still don't have that. Uh, I think I'm going to hold off on that. Well, I can put a sight and a stabilizer on it and all the other good stuff. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and make one. We failed but didn't waste materials. All right, we failed again but didn't waste materials. My favorite. What are we training here? We're training fabrication. If difficulty five, we're level six and we're failing. That's twice. All right, keep failing. I'm fine with that. It's free XP. All right, we succeeded that time. So now we've got a replacement for the longbow. So let's... Uh, I don't have it in there. Do I have it on the ground, or am I wearing it, or in my inventory? What did I do with it? I'm wearing it. It's in my inventory. All right, so now we've got a reflex recurve bow. We'll drop that in the cart. So that's one of the best bows in the game right there. So we've got that. I just need to use it and get our bow skill up. Um... I'm not going to be able to do any kind of survival anything. You guys keep telling me to do survival stuff. How many Kevlar plates have you seen me with? <laughs> they almost all require Nomex and Kevlar plates. I haven't found a single goddamn firefighter that I've been able to kill yet, and not a single fire station or fire truck has had any equipment in it. <laughs> so, uh, I might have the duct tape, but I don't have the uh, Kevlar, or I don't have the uh, Nomex, I don't have the Kevlar plates, I don't have all of the other high-end stuff that it takes to build survival gear. So I'm nowhere near being able to build that. Not to mention the duct tape. I don't forget. I forget what else it takes, but it's just way too early for me to be trying to do that kind of stuff. We're on day 11. Um... I just want to get my spear built. If I can get my spear built, my steel spear, I'll be super happy. So let's find out. What's it going to take? All the other mechanic, all the other uh, metalworking stuff that I don't have. So that, that I've got. Thread's no problem. So all the components I've got, it's just the pile of other stuff. <laughs> so... Um, I don't have charges for a settling torch. A hallowed altar? That must be new. It must be a magical thing. Sparkle Forge, Electric Forge, and the Chisel Tool. So yeah, I still got a long way to go before I do the Steel Spear, unfortunately. Um, 
to do. I'm definitely not going to get it done with the uh, battery amount that I've got for that welder currently. So I'm going to have to be really careful about what I use that welder for. So I'm kind of disappointed there. I had forgotten just how much other stuff it was going to require to get that done. 